What's up guys, this is Ultra Eclipse Art, and today we're going to be doing a, a little tutorial on how to do a pretty good mock, and how to make it look realistic. Uh, right in front of you, right here on your screen, is just a little thing, just a tiny little sliver, not even barely a creation, just to show you what we're going to be learning. Uh, we're going to be learning how to do, like, the texture of the hills right here. How to make it look real, not just, like, just one brick in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this is actually pretty simple, and a lot of people kind of mess up on it when they're making their mocks. They just don't remember what's realistic and what's not. Uh, as you can see right here, you got a tree. And, um, so yeah, we're going to be learning how to do trees, uh, like rocks and stuff, little plants. I don't have a lot of plant stuff, so that's why I don't have a lot. But if I did, I would definitely make it better. Now, we're going to learn how to do these little ones. And then once we do that, we can, you guys, on your own, can figure out how to make medium ones. And eventually, he'll be able to make huge mocks. This is just a medium-sized one. You can see the river with the rocks in it, some sand, decent hills, different colors. Now, I would change this. It doesn't look very natural, just to be two shades of green out of nowhere. It'd be better if you could blend it in nicer. But this is just an example. Got a tree there. Probably could be better, too. Random rock. But yeah, I think you guys get the point. So we're going to be making this real quick. I'm going to give you some tips on what to do. So let me just get all my pieces, which are right here. And we can get started. So let me take this out of the way and put this here. Now this is just a basic little plate. Pretty much everyone has one, and if you don't, you can you can substitute it with pretty much any flat pieces put together. So we're just going to put that right here. And first of all, what we need is the end hill piece. This is what the highest, this is the most elevation it's ever going to get, one brick tall. That's as tall as it's going to get. Now you can make it as tall as you want. But this is just an example, and this is what I'm going to use. So we're just going to put that right there. And now we got to make it, you know, kind of a little better than that. You know, we can't just have just one brick. So that's why we're going to put this right there a one by six piece and a one by three piece as you can see it's getting a little better still a little choppy I mean we're not gonna finish with that of course now we're gonna put uh, sorry guys probably should have prepared a little bit more and we're gonna put a little flower piece right there on a one by four brick flat. We're gonna put it right here. Now you guys can kind of see where it's going at. Now let me put kind of the finishing touch. Not quite, but it will make it a little better. That. Now that's just a two by one corner piece flat. Well, yeah, three by one, I guess. Now you're going to need two one by two brick flat bricks. I'm going to put them right here. So let me move that flower a little bit. Right there, and right there. And that looks pretty good. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to put this right there, and this maybe. Right there, yeah, that looks that looks decent. 
Now for the little hard part. Well, no, we'll do the rocks first. All you need for rocks to make it look good are just light gray or dark gray studs. That's all you really need to make good rocks. You can do a bunch of them. You can do just one or two or three. I'm just going to do one and two just for a little extra looking. Now we're going to do the tree, which depending on what you like can be trickier. Now what we're going to get is we're going to start the base of the trunk with five round um, two by two bricks. And they just look just like that and you just need to stack them. And then we got to get we can't just put this right there. I mean, that's an okay looking tree. But if we want to actually get like the real look of nature, we're going to have to put the roots that are still like coming out of the ground and stuff. So what we're going to do is you're going to take one of these ramp bricks, put it right there. Like that. And then we're going to get one of these. And we're going to put it right here. Sorry, it's getting kind of dark in here. Um, then we'll take another one of these and put it right there. So now you kind of get the the ground look like it's coming going into the ground. Now we'll just get a random brick. You can make it square, it doesn't really matter. I just ran out of pieces. And put it right there. Now we're gonna stick this anywhere you really want. I'm gonna put mine right there. And then you want some of these little ramp bricks and you can put them right there and back here now it's starting to look pretty good <clears throat> now the cool thing with these is you can make like a broken log you can do it like that as if it broke so that's pretty cool I'm just gonna do a full tree <coughs> now <coughs> We're going to get, this is a little tricky part, we're going to make the head, or the leaves of the tree, and that's a little harder, but probably nothing you guys can't handle. Uh-oh. We're going to get two brown studs, and then one of the cylinder blocks, we're going to put the first stud like that, just in the corner another one like that so it's gonna look like this then we're gonna put that like that now we'll put it like that yeah then we're gonna get one of these gonna put it right there now we'll get another one of these leaves leave uh, things and put you can put little ones right there just to give it a little bigger effect we'll put it right there like that now we're gonna get another stud um, brown put it right there now we're gonna get two by three green just so it'll blend in more. Put it right. And let me see if I can do this right. Right there. There we go. Like that. Then we'll get another one of these branch things and put a one by two on the center. Center little stud. And we're just gonna put this like that. Bada bing bada boom. Got the head of the tree. And now we got one more. I actually just forgot about this one. We can put it anywhere we want. I'm just going to put it right there. 
And then we can set it right there. There we go. That looks pretty dang good. Now, I'll move the camera up a little bit. Now we got kind of the tree effect. And this is pretty pretty much it. This is just a good tutorial. You want to keep the ground. You don't want it to be flat, too flat, or too upwards unless you're making like a a mountain or something. So, this is good. And this is just a start. You can make him as big as you want. Once you can get the good effects going, you can make bigger mocks and huge mocks. You can do whatever you want with natural elements. And uh, so, yeah, that's my tutorial for the day. Uh, I hope you like it. Sub subscribe. And we'll have a bunch more tutorials if you need help. In the comments, leave anything that you need or need help with. And I'll see you next week.